Of course, the Boston Marathon is an international competition for the world's best runners, but it's also about the families, the friends, the neighbors, all running for very personal reasons. And next Monday, local dad Scott Middlemiss will be running in memory of one son and with the hope that the other son can have a long, healthy life. Like I said, he was six, but he was wise beyond his years, and he taught us a lot. Joseph Middlemiss was the boy with a big smile and an even bigger heart in every sense. He was born with cardiomyopathy, an enlarged heart. It made it hard for him to do a lot of things that little boys um, like to do. But he was determined not to miss out. He loved music and superheroes and playing with his friends. He really had a gift of finding the best in every single day and making the most of it. Every day, Kate would ask him how his day was, and he would always say, every night, no matter what, this was the best day ever. One of his best days was the day his baby brother Jack was born, but their time together was too short. Joe died a month later. He was so excited to be a big brother, um, so they did get some time together, but obviously not enough. And then the 33 days that we had together, they were bittersweet now, but the best days. Hi. Hi. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Scott and Kate Hi. focused on Jack Hi. and on celebrating Joe's spirit. And so I started what we call um, the All You Need Is Love mission. And we have mission cards, and, and it tells Joe's story, but it also asks them to do an act of kindness and to, you know, pass this card along. Those cards have reached Australia, England, and all parts of the United States. That led to the Joseph Middlemiss Big Heart Foundation and a second mission. Teach children the importance and the impact of kindness. We use the word um, ripple kindness, ripple act of kindness. So we do one act and how it ripples out throughout the entire world. <laughs> the foundation is also funding research for a cure. Jack also has cardiomyopathy and he's on the list for a transplant. Hi. There are family pictures everywhere in the Middlemiss home and a treasure that Joe painted in preschool. I asked him to tell me a little bit about it, and he said, Mom, that's heaven. And I said, well, tell me some more. And he said, it's just the most beautiful thing you can imagine. And that was actually kind of Joe, just this old soul and this little four-year-old's body. Scott ran cross country in high school, and after Joe died, running became a kind of therapy. Always came back to, why don't you go start running? It will be good, not only for your physical health, but your emotional health. And I know that he's holding Joe close to his heart in every mile that he's running. And Joe will be with him when he makes that journey from Hopkinton to Boston. I know he's inspired Scott to make the marathon the best day ever. And just knowing that Joe and Jack, you know, were with me the whole time and carrying them in my heart, so that'll be great. And we will be cheering for you. You can find much more about the Joseph Middlemiss Big Heart Foundation right on our website, cbsboston.com. We are less than a week now from the marathon, and we hope you're going to join us Monday, April 20th, for some exciting competition and some wonderful stories. Our coverage begins here at 7 o'clock in the morning. And a reminder, two members of our team, David Wade, Eric Fisher, are running the race. And if you are, we want to hear your stories. You can share them on Twitter using the hashtag Team Run. And getting back to Scott Middlemiss for just a second, he's actually already signed up to run the New York Marathon to raise money for Boston Children's Hospital, where both of his boys were treated. And, and the thing is, people will see Scott now and right. they'll recognize right. him from the story and they'll be cheering him along as well. And boy, I hope I have a chance to meet him too so I can uh, shake his hand and, and say go. We'll be looking for him at the finish line. <laughs>